Special thanks to Ubisoft for providing me with access to the game. As you can see, things here haven't changed one bit. the deal. The Motorfest is stepping up their street racing game. They have a bunch of so-called street racers coming in from all over the world. Got us some competition, huh? Yeah. And Made in Japan 2 is going to be all about showing these guys who the top dogs in this festival are. I'm down, brother. From what I've heard, it's more of a cat thing. These guys are all waiting for us on another island, Maui. So this is uncharted territory for all of us. Even more exciting. Maui, here we come. That super you got last time certainly fits you like a glove. And you'll have access to a whole lot of other Japanese vehicles as we face our opponents. You're gonna love that. Check this out, guys. Smoking volcano on the right. Excuse me, you said smoking volcano? Yeah, that one's still active. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Perfect. Welcome to Maui, guys. Yay! Do we know anything about these guys we're facing? Well, the festival didn't provide much intel, but I can tell you we're up against several other groups. They're not isolated individuals. Which means these guys will know how to drive as a team. Exactly. And they all come from different places, meaning different racing styles and different types of cars. Guess we'll have to work things out on the spot. That's what we do, right? Man, we're gonna have fun.
first opponents. The warm-up is over. Smoke these guys. You got it, sister. What's up with all the cat fever? I don't know. It's a motor fest thing. Right now, cat's the word. I love cats. Of course you do. You're driving my car's older sister tonight. The Mazda RX-7 Turbo 2. The second generation of the RX-7. 10th anniversary edition. That's right, this very model is extra special. It's the monochromatic crystal white edition, celebrating 10 years of RX-7 goodness. Only 1,500 of these babies were made. At the time for Mazda, this was the definitive statement about what a sports car can and should be. turns are sharp. You gotta drift through these, Shingo. You drift psycho. We're back at the shopping mall, which means only a few turns left. Don't give these fur balls any ground, you guys. Way ahead of you. of roasted cats. Bring in the next one. Well done. The one and only Pax taking the lead. the deal. Try not to disappoint. Ooh, the quick whiskers in person on our frequency. Well, take a head start, kitty cat. You're gonna need it. Some impressive machines these guys are driving. Gets my motor running. That's the spirit. Let's take these jokers down. The 
Looks like we're going out of the city for a bit. Say my Evo X liked it much, but all good. Yeah, the Motorfest is clearly cranking things up without any regard for our paintwork. If that's too much for you people, feel free to wait on the sidelines and watch. Eavesdropping now. Hmm. If you want to join the winning team, just say so. Kids these days. Section's nasty. Yeah, it's a miracle none of us ended up in a tree. Come on, guys, this is the last section. Neon led city streets just the way we like them. No question, we're winning this. Not gonna question this. You should be ready for anything with that Toyota GR86. Lightweight, with a naturally aspirated engine, responsiveness and agility. A Toyota GR at the upper limit of performance. A car that's right up your alley. Excellent job, my friend. That second victory clearly sends a message. Any comment from the cats on the radio? <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. We got the next drift sensation in the making here.
Good evening, Japan. You guys are ready to lose in your own playlist? <laughs> Bite me, Hello Kitty. Can you believe these jackasses? They kind of remind me of someone. Anyway, guys, I advise you get in the zone stat. The path is gonna get real technical real fast, and you're not facing Abarths anymore. Copy that. Knuckle down. You all good, friend? We got you yet another car from the JDM Golden Era. The most forward-thinking car in the world back then. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Or simply, GTO in Japan. Shingo, you're gonna tell us more? Yeah, you got it. Wait, um... Two turbochargers, four-wheel steering, and an electronic exhaust control system. Not bad. You've only missed the active aero control system. Oh yeah, motorized aerodynamics that adapts to your speed. That car was a freaking Japanese Batmobile. Way ahead of its time. These damn cats are tough. Yeah, with these guys, I think we gotta switch from a Hashiria to a Bosuzoku state of mind. Okay, meaning? We go rough, brother. on this island, not exactly a piece of cake. Yeah, but that's what makes it interesting, right? Plus, it's nothing for a driving whiz like you. Nothing at all. Once we pass the bamboo forest, the finish line will only be a few seconds away. If you guys want to try something, it's now. Take the bus. I know, sorry about the intrusion. Heard you people defeated all your opponents so far. That's quite a tally. Anyways, we're all stoked to be facing you. May the best team win, over and out. How about that? Watch out, guys. I foresee a very mean curve at the end of the straightaway.
hunch. That curve's deadly. Yeah, I expect lots of razor-sharp turns peppered with short straights on these mountain roads. Not to mention the 200-foot drop if you miss any of them. Just the way we like it. Manners and mean cars. Looks like our opponents are the real deal. But it's quite bold of them to think they could beat Japanese racers in a toge. Well, cats are known for being cocky. Remember our last toge driver? It was you against me then. Don't you forget, it's all about drifting. Oversteer while maintaining control for a high exit speed. We told you that the Skyline GTRs were called Godzilla. Well, that R32 you're driving was the first one to earn that name. This is the original monster, and its victory streaks are beyond compare. I'm gonna make it simple. For years, that car was unstoppable on the Japanese car racing scene. The R32 changed the rules and left everyone in the dust for years. It was created to beat the shit out of everyone, and it did. Closing in, guys. Focus till the end. No matter what, this race belongs to one of our two skylines. You've become the king of the mountains, my friend. Incredible race, spectacular driver. Invincible car. Just the lower ranks, apparently. Now each team is playing their trump card. Good kitties. Check out these cars, man. They're clearly bigger cats. Doesn't matter, does it? These guys are still cats. We are dragons. Driver, this is a battle royale between the five street racing teams. Only one member of each group gets to race, and you're the one racing for the pack. Gosh, lucky. Officially passing the torch, big brother? Just this one time. Oh my god, goosebumps. Literally. Wengen style on that speedway, which means really fast. Just watch out in these tunnels. Does that car ring a bell, driver? We spoke about it in the Liberty Walk playlist. This is the Liberty Walk version of the 92 Honda NSX. Oh, man. Yeah, that's Shingo's dream car. 
Basically the same NSX as he always drives, except for this one's been in the hands of the master Wataru Kato, which brings it to a whole new level. I want to drive that car. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Got a driver? That car is a unicorn. For the firepower contest that is the final race, this special NSX will do nicely. race my friend and it'll be an overwhelming victory for the pack that's what we're shooting for right always looks like you guys are free after all you won this made in japan thing now come and get us out there see what happens sounds like an invitation friend 